Hi friends, today in this video, I am going to show you, how to make AC to DC battery charger circuit, that can charge both lead acid, and lithium ion batteries. So, I first drafted the simple circuit diagram in CAD, which has simple working principle as shown in this block diagram. First input AC gets through rectification, through this NTC and fuse for input protection. Then the PWM is created by these transistors, which controls gate of MOSFET for oscillation. And MOSFET is protected by these two limiting resistors. Then high frequency transformer converts high voltage to low voltage. And here this PWM control circuit stabilizes the output voltage. And through this short key diode infiltration, we get the final DC output. For easy assembly I converted this schematics into the PCB layout. And the PCB is going to be look like this. You can download both circuit diagram and PCB files, link is in video description. In order to manufacture this PCB, go to the video description, and with this link sign up on JLCPCB website. On the homepage of JLCPCB website, here you can add the Gerber file I provided. After uploading, you can see the preview of the PCB. You can also change quantity in the color of PCBs as per your requirements. And then save to cart for checkout. Within some days I got my order from JLCPCB delivered. And the quality of the PCBs is amazing, and 5 pieces is for just $2. And now it is time to assemble the PCB. So. Let's place all the components on the PCB according to the circuit diagram. And after spending some time with the soldering process, I cleaned the PCB with isopropyl alcohol. And here our PCB is looking nice and clean. Now use 25 mm toroidal core to make a filter inductor. Use 22 gauge enamel wire and YN12 turns into this core. and place it into the PCB. Now make a high frequency transformer with this configuration data. I already made one, so let's place it into the PCB.
Now our circuit is fully ready, and here goes in AC 220 volts, and here comes out DC voltage. Use an AC plug, and connect it into this connector. Now let's plug it into the AC outlet. Now it turned on, so let's check the output voltage using this multimeter. It is about 14 volts, which is suitable to charge both lead acid and lithium batteries. Use alligator clips for battery, and connect into the output connector. This circuit has also short circuit protection, so that it can be safe to use. Now let's charge this 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. As you can see the battery is fully charged. Now let's charge this 12 volt car battery, the maximum power it can provide to battery is about 100 watts. As you can see the battery is also fully charged with this charging circuit. Also I would like to let you know that, JLC PCB offers high quality 6 layer PCBs in affordable prices and discounts. 6 layer PCB design can be very useful in high speed performing applications, and for optimized routing efficiency and electrical performance. So, give life to your new 6 layer PCB design, with only JLC PCB. If you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up. For more useful videos, subscribe the channel. Also check out these recommended videos. Thanks for watching.